Okay, people, I really need you, if you love these videos, which you love Jean's videos, and Jean is on for an exclusive today, that you put a thumbs up because I seen on the last video, there were 3,000 views in a couple hours, and I only got 500 thumbs up. So if you want this channel to grow, and you don't want me to stop and, and close down, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. How hard is that? I don't think it's hard, okay? All right, so um, here's Jean. Go ahead. So I wanted to tell everybody that the donations, both from Kirsten's viewers and Rick's, has been beyond my most wild dream. Mostly and thank Rick. you so much. <laughs> it's just, I um, mean, God bless you all. I not only got a, a brand new laptop, from Rick, but it was so expansive that I went ahead and got a, a 27 inch uh, Mac top table kind of top thingy. Uh, I'm not very techy, so <laughs> and all the new stuff and hardware and a, a new a new viewer. Uh, I mean, a, a really good friend, uh, from one of Rick's viewers and Kirsten's viewers from uh, New Mexico. He sent me a brand new uh, professional mic for that computer system. And then I'm also gonna share the money with the, my editor and I have a compiler and then I have um, a research assistant. And then I'm, if I have extra, I'm gonna share it with my coordinators. And so one of my coordinators, the Germany coordinators, shared this amazing news from Germany. And I wanna tell that couple in Germany, thank you so much. I'm looking forward to working with you. We're gonna do great. We're gonna do international news. Where we go one, we go all. I'm getting ready. My coordinator in, in Indonesia will do Malaysia and Philippines and Vietnam. And my coordinator in Australia is going fantastic for New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, Australia. She speaks Danish, so it's also Denmark, Norway, and Sweden. My person in the UK is getting ready. My person in France, my person in Italy, um, the person in South Africa, the lazy, amazing person that Kirsten gave me. Thank you, Kirsten, that Very speaks welcome. Portuguese, Spanish, and English, and she's, she's going to do Brazil. South America and Portugal. Brazil, yeah. She's in Brazil. Brazil, yeah. She's in Brazil, and she's going to do that um, all. So it's amazing. We're going to have news coming in from all over the world. We're going to share all the world. They're going to translate the decodes and stuff and the information that Kirsten and her guys that she gave me in China, as well as I have another person now in China too, that I get information from there. So, you know, it's fantastic. Thank you for so much for Kirsten and getting the ball rolling with the computer. It's off the chart. It's beyond belief. God bless each and every one of you. And it, it's biblical what's happening worldwide. It's coming down people. They're coming to meet, <laughs> they're going to meet Christ. <laughs> is biblical it's epic all i have to say is that i am looking out for for jean uh everyone needs to either mention jean decodes or give the credit to jean because that's what i'm into you know giving the credit and basically you know having his name out there so they know it's a gene decode so you know if they do other channels maybe they should put his name in there gene decode I have a whole playlist with 10 videos with a gene decode. So that's the main thing is that he gets the credit. Yeah, so far that's been going really, uh, people have been really kind that way. Yeah. And we know had mentioned me and let's teach also. And he said, you know, and another uh, YouTuber mentioned me on his site and said, right. God bless this gene and, and blessed to teach. And he did an amazing uh, decode too. And so I wanted to tell him, thank you for mentioning me. And thank so you. And we know for mentioning me. So many people use your your stuff on the dumbs. You're like Mr. D U M B S, not Mr. Dumb. I actually <laughs> thought of a new word for that, Kirsten. <laughs> yeah. Secret underground military base, because they called them dumbs to make us look dumb that we right. don't know. And so it's a secret underground military base. There's some. There, there's a yeah. lot of sums. Thumbs. There <laughs> you go. Some everywhere. Thumbs, <laughs> right, exactly. So, yeah, there's some everywhere on <laughs> earth. Ten thousand on earth. Right. Shall we play the video for the Yeah, group? show the video of the dumb that they took out under the museum in Stuttgart and that you can see the smoke coming up from through the basement. Shall we lower the volume or shall we not? Ready? You can leave it for people. Turn it up so German speakers can hear it. I'm going to get you people from Germany too, person watching your. Okay. Okay. 
wird dazu genutzt, um Asphalt herzustellen. Eine Person ist leider leicht verletzt worden. Sie ist jetzt mit dem Rettungsdienst ins Krankenhaus gekommen. Der Brand selbst wurde von uns sehr schnell gelöscht. Wir waren hier insgesamt mit 80 Einsatzkräften vor Ort, fahren jetzt den Einsatz langsam wieder runter. Die Einsatzstelle ist auch alles unter Kontrolle. Wir werden jetzt noch Belüftungsmaßnahmen äh, und Kontrollmaßnahmen hier vor Ort durchführen und dann die Einsatzstelle zur Ermittlung der Brandursache an die Polizei übergeben. In dem Gebäude auf der Museumsinsel entsteht derzeit unter anderem das Humboldt-Forum. Der erste Teil des Museums soll im September eröffnet werden. Okay, so that's the fire in Germany. And here is more information for um, Merkel. And Jean has some information on Merkel. Here we go. Hello? Jean? So they did this petition, uh, the German people, and they served an indictment, and she's been arrested. She's going to go to trial. The so daughter of Hitler, Merkel, is going to go to trial for crimes against humanity. She's not the daughter. She's probably the granddaughter. Or no, Hitler died in 1987. Okay. All right. That was so not his, that was his butler, who was a lookalike, that was in Germany in that bunker. So it's his daughter, is there what you're saying? Yeah. He, she has two sisters, too, that are also in positions of power in the world. I have a picture of all three of them together. I'll send you later. We can have that on another show. Okay, so she's been arrested. <clears throat> yep. She's dying from Kuru, but she's arrested. That's why she shakes all the time. That's the later stages of Kuru. All right, so that's done. And then we're going to go into Italy now, so hopefully. Yeah, so I want to tell my German people, coordinator Danke Shane. Danke. Thank you. This is a, uh, in Germany, this is a, their harp complex there. So the harp mm -hmm. antenna. So they don't just have harps in Alaska. This is much more powerful because it's a spherical array, which can develop better power and more utilization, more efficient. And harp is used for hurricanes, correct? Harp is used for controlling people, their moods, uh, the atmosphere, the weather uh, as well. Hurricanes, harp. H-A-A-R-P, correct? Correct. correct. All right, that's for hurricanes, that's what I know it for. Yeah, they can make hurricanes and control the weather, create droughts, create blizzards, all kinds of stuff. This will be coming down too. They're gonna deactivate it like they did the one in Alaska. Okay, and then we have more, what do we have? We have this map that you need to talk about, I guess. Yep, yeah. so this is huge. You see all those earthquakes? Right. If you look, they don't have P waves. That means they're not natural. That's dumps taking out all over Germany, all over Italy, under the Vatican. You see one there by Rome. Right. Let okay. me down, down here, right? Down here. Yeah. Yeah, down here. That's Italy right here. And then yeah. what did you say about the Pope and everything? Because there was the a Pope was Pope. arrested with 80 priests. And the 60 were said they died from Corona. They didn't die from Corona. They died from being killed for crimes against humanity after trial. They got a death sentence. So they were put to death, I guess. They were put to death. Right. They're coming down. Okay. So the Satan's minions are coming to their end. So 60 were executed, is what you're saying. Yes. And the Pope is is um, under lock and key. That's why they yeah. have the that's why they had the hologram of him. Uh, yep. and you only saw the front and you didn't see the sides and the back and it disappeared after that. Right. Right. They can make somebody like a hologram or they can actually, like they did in Lord of the Rings, where they have a person wear a bodysuit that tracks their movements. And Tom Hanks did that. No. And so they memorize the movements and they have a person with that kind of body build and they can D replace the voice the person talks you just put the voice on top and they put the person's face on top so if you watch that video with tom hanks where he's in that small kitchen that's not his kitchen his kitchen had big expansive kitchen with white counters those those are like earth tone counters and the counters in his kitchen were green and those aren't green that's not even tom hanks he was given lethal injection in australia him and his wife <laughs> okay so Oh, okay, so he 
do you believe the story that Tom Hanks was mur the real Tom Hanks was murdered and that one of the Rothschilds took his place? I don't know about that, but whoever took whoever that is that was in Australia is dead too. So when they say that uh, Tom Hanks and his wife Rita supported Michael Levon Robinson, aka becoming Michelle in the mail vote vote by mail that that means they weren't really supporting because they're already dead correct yep that <clears throat> they're just using his name okay all right so that's the reason they call him his hanks is not his real name hanks go and this is an exclusive too so people understand this kirsten's getting a huge exclusive Mm -hmm. Hanks, it goes to the cult of Thuggy, which call, they call it Kalima. Kali is the goddess of destruction. And so they have the Thuggy cult, and they use a handkerchief and with a knot, and they whip it over your head and put that into the, right between your, your the bottom of your windpipe, and they strangle you, and it, it crushes your windpipe and breaks it into your throat. You suffocate and bleed down your throat and die in suffocation and drown. So that, that's why he's called Hanks. He's the lead assassin on the North American continent. Like capping all those people, he controls assassins. He's, he's an assassin in the thuggy cult. He's the top assassin and warlock on this continent. He was. Wow. And he's gone now. He's gone. Okay. All right, so we have. And you see that earthquake in Iceland, by the way, in Reykjavik, near Reykjavik, actually. That's a dumb takedown, too. I have a guy in Iceland. That's a dumb takedown, too. <clears throat> what else you sent me? Um, is this, this is from you. This is, um, is this the same thing? It's a German thing. Yeah, this is all the, the latitude. Yeah, yep. that's a backup I sent you. Okay, got it. So when right. you look at earthquakes, if you go to USGS in the U.S., you can see you, you're going to go to the USGS site. You look at an earthquake, especially the small ones, 2.8s. They never even had earthquakes in Germany. They don't have earthquakes. Those are man-made, taken-out domes like we saw with the museum. There's another one in, in Stuttgart where they took out another one in Kriart, too. And so you look for P waves. If you don't see that, that's not natural. Earth, natural earthquakes have P waves where it comes from deep underground to start where the continental plates or the, the the fault line starts to slip. And that's a P wave. You don't just suddenly have an earthquake. It's, you have a rumble and then a roll and the earth literally looks like waves going through it. It doesn't just knock you out of your chair suddenly. That's not real. That's okay. man-made. That means they're taking out dumps. Okay, so do you want to talk about the dumb in Missouri? Yeah. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Can I actually, I would like to give the guy credit because he did do that. Okay. And he did mention me and Rick. So, okay. um, true to life, his site, he, he said, God bless Gene, you know, God bless you, sir. And, and blessed teacher who's been following for, since he had 2000 viewers. And he did an excellent piece on the, on the, the highest satanic holiday of the year, which is from Walpurgis Day which is the 19th of April, and he went through a list of all the terrible things they've done throughout time on the 19th and 20th of April, like Oklahoma City, and the bombing there. And so he did a list, and then he went and mentioned that I did the decode and all this, and that everything I said was exactly where I said to the latitude, longitude, as well as what I said there for. The only one he said I didn't mention, which was because I don't compromise the ops getting ready to happen. There were, if you look at my maps, there's a huge hub, looks like a giant starfish with like eight or nine arms co going across the country. That's a hub. It's a dumb hub. It's not a dumb in itself. It's a hub where all the tunnels meet and all the maglev trains can zip all over and change tracks and go, you know, not tracks, but their, tra their travel system, which is through anti-graph uh, um, uh, free energy conduction systems. And so that had a bunch of rooms. So first 7,100, excuse, uh, was it 700, uh, 700 special forces <clears throat> went in there and it, there were so many demons and they were hitting, they were shooting them and they're going into puffs of smoke and they terrified the men so bad 
that they left and they went back and they had their families and everybody pray so that the power of prayer behind them. That's how powerful the power, power of prayer is. They went back with 2,100 special forces and they got in there. It was the smell when they blew the door was so bad they had to put on, you know, the breathing apparatus to go in there. And in the first room, they had 500 to 1,500. They couldn't tell for sure. It's a pile of kids up against a wall that were rotting and decaying. That's why the smell was so bad, feces and rats and stuff everywhere. Then they went into the next room. It was a child's uh, orgy room where they forced the kids to have orgies. And then they would take them into the next room where they'd sacrifice them with all the blood and everything in the next room. Then they went into the fourth room and it was on one wall, a whole bunch of freezers with frozen adrenochrome. They took that and took it out with them because they'll use that for the stars that are under arrest and to give them like a Cecilia and beyond she's did a pretty much a farewell speech where she's saying goodbye to her fans and she looks a little better because they give them a little adrenochrome so she can go through testimony and say all the stuff she did if she will you know repent then she can get salvation through Christ and you know, repent to Christ, then she can get that. If not, she gets a little bit, she can say all the stuff and give information or just get her death sentence. And then um, they rescued 3,500 kids in cages in that room. And they took out all those demons and stuff in there. So that's huge. And that was in Missouri, central, like south, southeast, central Missouri. Do we you can see it on the maps on my decodes. Do you have any more information like what you gave Rick on the five D codes that you can talk about or do I need yeah. to Also, I want to talk about some other news, which is um, there's a company called Tibber, which has the free energy patent. I already said that on my thing, which is the opposite of rabbit, Tibber. Yeah. I which gave is, you that, right? No? They are going to market it. I've been told it's $12,000 for a unit that's a little bit bigger than a bread box that's a billion watts of power. It's enough to for you to back up power be a substation for your neighborhood. <laughs> you can you can't you can't use a billion watts of power. And that's built by the Los Alamos Labs, which I guess got taken over by the Patriots, and so they're not yeah. making chemtrails anymore. Yeah, I did that on Rick's show five days ago. Now six days ago, um, they they went into Los Alamos and they take they took that dumb out now. And that, that means they're going to spread through all of New Mexico. They're going to, the, we need to pray and keep Trump and his family and the patriots and the, the military under the earth that are up against these terrible monsters, these terrible evil things down there and rescue these children and keep them safe and give them the power of Christ and the power of the one true God of all creation so that they can continue taking that, all those dumps through Sandia Labs uh, White Sands area, all the way down to the areas down in Carlsbad Caverns, Dulce, they, all of that huge stuff, Albuquerque, under the Air Force Base there in Albuquerque, everything, that's all dumps that are all massive, interconnected, S2, S4, S6, X66, that's massive, so we need to keep them in prayer all the time, people, this is coming, they need their power. Okay, so can I ask you a question? So yes. when you say when you when they're shooting at the i i can't really say demon i can say demon possessed that's as far as i can go when we're saying demon possessed um what are they shooting them with that turns them into a puff of smoke some kind of high technology i guess i don't know i don't know if that's a regular weapon or like an ak-47 <laughs> or something but something okay all right <laughs> I'm not special for I'm not in the special forces down there. I can't tell you. I've been in yeah, I'm retired for since the nineties, so it's been a long time for me. So that those what that weaponry weaponry that they're using does work against um demon possessed people or whatever they are. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So do we have any more updates? Like, you know, everyone's asking me for an update for Australia. I don't know if any dumps have been taken on Australia. I know you said New Zealand, most of them. Not Australia yet. New Zealand, we did that, and that's going good. New Zealand's going well. They're working their way through New Zealand. And, I, you know, New Zealand's close to Australia, and they're going to come up through Australia. So Australia still need, nothing. Do New Zealand first. Okay. How about Canada? 
Um, they're coming up underneath the Lake Superior where the mass, that's a huge dome. And also they go from Michigan, the mitten, up under all the Great Lakes, up into Canada in every direction. So they, they're coming through Michigan in, uh, up through the Great Lakes. And so they're gonna be working their way up into Canada. Have they taken anything out in Canada yet? Not yet. Okay. Um, so basically they've cleaned out California, you said, right? Except they got some, some got taken back and then they got cleaned out again. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then Arizona, pretty much. They no lost Lassen, they got Lassen back. Okay, and then Arizona. And then they, you know, their stuff they've done in Antarctica. They did one in Antarctica, which is in the Admiralty Mountains in uh, underneath Mount Levitt. And then they also did one in, in Argentina which is under Aria Cerro in Aconcagua on the Argentinian side. And then they did one also in Argentina in Aria, the area called Sierra de Calalasta, as well as um, Laguna de Cuayatayoc. I don't know how you pronounce that. I guess that's close as I can get. And area, um, area Via de Maria. And this is all Argentina. And San Juan, northwest of... Cerro, Cerro Las Tortolas, and then in Brazil, they did Lago Fata Laquin. Oh, that's still Argentina, I'm sorry. Then in Australia, they did Mount Zeal. Australia? No, yeah, they did one in Australia, which is Mount Zeal. Okay, Zeal. did they do any in Puerto Rico? They have that. Um, now, excuse me, there's a couple more. Okay. Oh, that's just, no, they just did that one. I'm sorry, these are just locations. There's a bunch of locations I have. How about the in, Arcebo Observatory in Puerto Rico? No, they haven't done that, but they, they've done all the stuff down um, by Guayanica uh, and Las Paraguayas and all of the south um, western area below off the coastline and goes up into Guayanica and almost all the way to Ponce. So what how would what percentage would you say the dumbs in the US are done? Are we up to seven? They're probably nearing eighty percent. And we wow. can't get like, yeah, we can't get lackadaisical. We gotta keep the people in prayer down there. We can't just say, Oh, it's okay, because that's how we slip back and lost to. Because it's the power of prayer in there that keeps them to be able to fight what's down there. They need our prayers. And do we know anything that's going on in Iceland right now? Is yeah, there was one like you saw on the map there that's in the south um, central part of uh, right near the coastline of, of Iceland. There's one there as well that was taken out. Okay, so we have in Iceland, we have the original HRC that passed. We still have Obama and we have um, Epstein there. Mm hmm. They didn't go anywhere, I guess. They're still there. And um, what else? So what other, Asia, do we have anything that was taken out or? Anything? Oh yeah, there's tons of stuff. Um, I would have to pull up Japan here. Let me see if I can find that. About, is there any under my country, under Singapore? Probably not. Mm, I'm sure there is. I just don't have any um, intel on that. Mm -hmm. um, See if I can find Japan. Hold on. Malaysia. Indonesia. Yeah, Malaysia's got a lot of stuff. Yeah, that's you can yeah, run that's, through my documents here. Hold on. That's dangerous. <laughs> which is okay, which is the dumb that Rick put on that picture that has the big, extremely big wide door that you can't possibly open physically? That was Cheyenne Mountain. That thing's a massive door, yeah. Those are four tons of tw four and um, between four and 12 tons. I should be able to pull that up. Um, Cheyenne, how do you spell Cheyenne? S C H E Y E N N E. Cheyenne. C H E Y E N N E. Dumb, right? Oh, they'll be under dumb? Yeah. yeah. Okay, hopefully there's a picture so everyone can take a look at it. Landfill. Um, Cheyenne Mountain Complex, would that be it? Yes, yes. Okay. Hopefully they have a picture of the dumb. Mm. 
They have the, oh, there, there's the picture of the dumb right there. Um, two, 25 I don't see the, ton. yep, that's it. That's the big, huge black, 25 ton. I'm sorry. Wow, it was even way low. Yeah, 25. 25 ton blast door. Okay, they took they took that one out, correct? Yeah. Okay, yeah. great. That, they that. also took out Granite Mountain where there was a, a Y intersection and they fought underground there with uh, guns and stuff. And um, they were dividing girls from boys there. And they took that one out. I see. Which is in Utah. They also took out Dugway Proving Ground, which is er under Dugway Proving Ground, which is Area 52, and the one under Salt Lake, and the Kennecott Copper Mine Company, which is the LDS's gold and food and all that stuff stores. They took that out, too. Okay, so um, do we need to show, show any, should I dig up any more pictures of anything else? Do we need any more, or anything? What should I look up? I could send you this file real quick, if you'd like. Yeah, definitely. Since we're okay. doing it, might as well do it. I'd like to catch up with Rick, but then he did like five, so I need feel like I need to catch up. Five, yeah. Yeah. See, it should have it now, Kirsten. So we're so we're very this is very compressed information from Gene. So I'd like to yeah, so I'm getting sometimes it arrives a lot later, so I don't know if, how long it's gonna take. Cause when you sent me those two other emails, it took a while. See, like right now it's not I'm not getting it. It took like 15 minutes. But so do we have anything else to discuss while we're waiting for your file to come in? Mm, let me think. Uh, Celine Dion, we got her, we got Tom Hanks, we got the Pope, we got the, we got the Dumbs, we got the Burkle, uh, Iceland, Dumbs, uh, the, the, oh, the Vatican. The, turns out, uh, once they get the, the Vatican cleaned out, they went down there underneath the Vatican. There's a huge dome, essentially, uh, and uh, what I call a secret underground military base. They call them dumbs, not just because they're deep underground, because they're saying we're dumb not to know about it. They're laughing at us. And so um, I call them some because there's some everywhere you look, <laughs> 10,000 worldwide. So there's some everywhere. Secret underground military base, some. Right. Okay? So I'm not the dumb guy, I'm some guy. The some guy. Here we have all the pictures now. And then you said they found trillions worth of gold from they stole from all the different people. Yeah, hundreds of trillions of dollars worth of gold. Under the Vatican. and. Um, wow. We and it turns out they gloat in how uh, stupid we are. And so they have meticulous records of exactly how much trillions of dollars of gold. Come on. Hello? Um, they have hundreds of trillions of dollars that, of gold bullion, and they have records of every country, like 160 trillion from Philippines, 260 trillion from Thailand, as well as everybody specifically, how many dollars they've taken from you through taxes. So not only what I'm being told, I don't know, but this is just a source that not only is was Nassara and Jasara, oh, that's another thing we need to report about. Yeah, we'll get to that next. But Nassara and Jasara is being implemented and the Treasury, uh, the Fed's been rolled into the Treasury and the Treasury, and want, uh, the Fed has been buying back a trillion dollars a day since October 13th. Um, and when they go bankrupt, then they're insolvent. They'll be dissolved, and it'll just be the U.S. Treasury. They're buying it back with actually gold, U.S. gold and, and silver. And so they're using up the Fed gold and silver. They're giving actual silver and gold that they had and supplies back to all those countries and everything that they owe. And then once they're gone, they'll just be the U.S. Treasury where we have all that gold and everything from the Vatican and also underneath Buckingham. And palace so the queen was locked out and arrested and um she couldn't get back in and they also audited all that gold and they have all the records in the vatican as well as the shroud of turin and the spear of diogenes and a lot of other artifacts from from ancient times of all those priceless amazing religious artifacts that the human race should have had and be able to see in a museum somewhere and they're bringing all that out and then they will put in the the oil went to minus forty dollars a barrel. 
which means when they get oil, they, they pay them to take the oil for you dollars <laughs> to take a barrel, oh which means the petrodollar is gone. They're bankrupting the petrodollar. So it means that then want the Nasara is not only being done here in this country with the Fed being rolled into the treasury, but also the petrodollar being gone means all the world banks are being taken out, like Chase Manhattan and all the different banks of the, the American banks and all of that that were funded by the Fed through the petrodollar. So some, with the gold that will be repaid to all the countries of the world will come back on gold. And then if you they have exactly how much everybody paid, so I'm being told not only will your debt be forgiven, so your mortgage and that stuff is likely to be forgiven, but this is one source. I have this, you know, just what I have. But then also, based on the income taxes you paid, you may be getting some monies back. Maybe getting payments like you've done every year. They may be paying you back every year instead. So we're going to see some amazing things very shortly. Do you think we're? Uh, do you think like um, we're going to get millions and millions of dollars each? I don't. I doubt it. But I don't think it's. I think it's going to be just like we did income taxes. Yeah. Hello? Okay. Yeah, just saying. You're going in and out. Why is your mic? Okay. Okay, I have a. Well, it's like we're going to each get a certain payment, like we did payments every year. We'll probably get maybe that or double or something like that. Yeah. So we'll get payments each year. It's not millions and millions and millions. No, it's not like certain amounts we're saying. Okay. We're not going to get millions and millions every year. Okay, I have two questions. You know, when, when they took the Vatican out and whatever else, it's not, it's mostly American troops, right? But there's other foreign troops involved in that, correct? Yeah, Operation, uh, they're calling it Operation Freedom. It was part of Avenger 2020 with 35,000 U.S. Defenders. troops. Defenders. There were also 12,000 troops from 17 other countries. So it's a joint effort. But the ones in the U.S., is it just our our military that's taking them out, or is it with other military too? No, just ours, right? No, it's combined. So they can't say the, the EU or the UN or whoever mm -hmm. can't say it's our troops doing taking over the world because it's 17, of course, 17. Right. It's Q. It's right. Q Alliance. They're taking over and arresting they're not taking over they're arresting so i have information from my peoples yeah. that i've gotten in different countries saying they're going house to house they're going house to house to take out the mark ultras that have in times programming to help them to get healed and mentally back and get the implants and all that stuff from all the targeted people the stuff they've done to people and help try to help those people and then the antifa and the ms-13 in this country so if you see them going house to house i mean it's not going to be every house it's going to be in every block for the list of mark ultras i've seen there's one person per block everywhere on earth per every yeah, but city mostly in the city. city right mostly in the cities not in the country mostly in cities but even rural little towns and communities have them okay and um what was i going to ask you too so basically the they they talked about that from a certain date i think it was from the 20th to the 21st or something to the 30th of this month is sacrifice season so it told us not to go out and and do all kinds right. of right because their highest sacrifice the blood sacrifices and the all the sexual depravity i'm not going to go through the detail of it mm -hmm. uh, what exactly they do i know it but I'm not, you can look it up it's called walpurgis day to beltate and so uh, my wife and i actually walked out of an opera that was celebrating last year on may 1st and they were can showing all this can you stuff. repeat that again what the names were i didn't get it walpurgis w-a-l-p-u-r-g-i-s it used to be a druid holiday they took it because it has a lot of magical power in it and they love that stuff. And then it goes to Beltane, which is on May, uh, April 30th to May 1st. They do it throughout 24 hours. That's Beltane, it's B-E-L-T-A-I-N-E, -E, Beltane. That sounds like Bel Bel Belthazar or something. Evil name. That's why it sounds that way, <laughs> satanic. Yeah. Okay, so we got, I got your email finally. We have Granite Mountain, I got a picture of that. Utah. 
Do you see the pictures, Granite Mountain? Yes, that's Granite Mountain, the one they just took back. And that's the Y where they're separating kids and out from girls and boys. And, and, uh, where, and where are they putting the children? Everyone asked where they're putting the children. They said that there's not enough room on those two ships, the Comfort and the Mercy, to put all those children. They have dumps they've cleaned out and did holy water and sanctification and prayer and cleaned them that are decent enough some of them they can't because they're so evil for so long they just blow, that's why they blow a lot of them up right. like that one in missouri they just got to blow it up it's too this it's one is too, oh, this one looks good yeah so like that and so but the, then the hybrids that are mixed with like a pig person yeah. nothing wants to be a pig person that's a, a depravity in the eyes of god that's blasphemous to God's creation. So that being a lot of those kids like that, that they rescued out of the dumb in New York City, they have to bring them out in the dark. They didn't want to be alive. They actually asked, please, because they want to go back to God and be, you know, come back and have a life as a pig and a person, not a pig person. That's a miserable thing. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a sin against the laws of God. And so they, those a lot of them were uh, gently put away. And then the mass graves that you see on the island off the coast of New York City, they dug mass graves with little coffins and they put those um, poor creatures down and put them in there because they asked to be. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna go down here. Children's are in the underground tunnels they were at Y Underground. That's adrenochrome. That's a picture y. we saw, the Y there. At a Y Underground. That's the intersection right there. Oh, up people there. People with up guns there. were divided. When the special forces came in down there, people with guns were, little kids were being separated by people with guns. I see. Okay, great. Okay, um, the people with guns were dividing the boys from the girls. Washington, D.C., White yeah, it was down under the the NOD underground facility under DC, and that's had tunnels that go everywhere. So that was for, for the pizza parties and the hot dogs and the pasta. You know what those mean if you go to the FBI yeah, website. Yeah, yeah. Pizza they and the children pizza. and hot dogs are little boys. Yeah. Right. And so, um, and cheese pizza and pasta and all that. So they'd have the parties that all the previous presidents had that trump doesn't do that so they took all those tunnels and a lot of them they flooded so that's why if you were in dc you remember when the streets flooded yeah that's because they flooded those tunnels out they brought what the is, potomac river in and flooded them what is pasta and what is cheese again i believe pasta is um boy um little boys and cheese is little girls and okay. walnuts is little black children okay got it yes you're correct okay so cia as with, well as many other nefarious groups lay under the white house with tunnels connecting it to the nod installation with the house of the temple the supreme council of 33 of the scottish reich house of temple has 14 and that's the hey that's the council of 33 degrees right is the highest scottish right um, of the Illuminati 13 chairs, one for each of the bloodlines, would sit there and they'd have the Illuminati Grand Wood Council. So they do a high satanic mass on Beltane and do the sacrifices and all that from Walpurgis to then, and then they would hold council for what they're going to do to the world for the next one year. And so the top of the families and each of the 13 families, the Lee family, like we went before through the families, the more of the Indians, the Pacers, mm -hmm. all of that. Yeah, the Pacers are there. gone, right? Pacers are gone. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And the only left is Somerset Belanoff and a, a few of her daughters, actually two of her daughters died yesterday in an explosion in the atmosphere. They were in a ship that was a nuclear-powered ship, fusion drive, and it was hit with a particle beam from orbital stuff, and it was taken out. Oh, wow. What was that? Over uh, the Arctic. That's why there's the largest Arctic hole right now, which they have the technology to patch that. It'll be patched. But there's a huge Arctic hole in the ozone mm. because that ship blew up, and everybody on it was disintegrated. Because they're, like there's, there's they're freaking out. They don't know what to do. 
because they're losing and they don't know what to do. And they're just like a bunch of chickens running around with their heads on fire cut off, or their heads all cut off. <laughs> you know, I have a really great picture that's from ACO and you can go on there and see it. It's looks like a, you know, a press conference, but all, all that's in the chairs is a bunch of skeletons with their heads on fire. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay, this so is now, showing the satanic outlines that you see in the streets of DC. So you see the pentagram. Yes. And this is my vibratory. My um, compiler put compiled all this, mm -hmm. and then you can see down below that there's an owl, in, which is the White House and the Rose Gardens and all that. And then if you pe keep paging down there, Kirsten, you'll see the owl outline. He outlines. He, he outlines everything, so you can see it really easy. Right here. Mm -hmm. That's the owl, but he'll he'll show it here if you keep going down. Okay. Wow, he's good. <clears throat> yeah, he's really good. So there's the pentagram in red. You can see it really, really well. And then the owls underneath. Yeah, he'll dub the owl next. Okay, great. That's the where's the White House? Is that over here? Down? It's at the bottom of the point. So it's the bottom of the pentagram. That means it's controlled by Satan. Oh, right here, down here. Mm -hmm. Oh mm -hmm. my God, that's horrible. What are they going to do about that? Probably tear it all down. I mean, what else can you do? Okay, here we go. There's the owl, and there's the also the Ma the Masonic square and compass, and with the owl inside, the owl of Moloch. Oh my God, that's the, that isn't that the White House? That's the White House and the Rose oh, Gardens. No wonder they need to get out of there. They need to bomb it or do something. Yeah. And you have the capital reflecting pole, and across from the White House, of course, you have the 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 large water expanse with the big, huge, you know, phallic symbol at the end. So mm -hmm. it's all the Oval Garden. It's male and female with the the you know the Egyptian the river hate you know going into Hades and all that the, the river Styx in which they they take you to the dead across in their belief system. Oh my God! It's disgusting. Okay. Yep. And this then, is what's been running our world forever. <laughs> okay, so that's coming the, down. I mean, we're living in the, in biblical times. <laughs> this is like it's all coming down. So that's what it looks like normally. Capital, mm -hmm. capital, capital reflecting pool somewhere here. Capital yes. reflecting pool. Okay. All right. And then we have Puerto Rico, San Antonio. Yeah, these are just the Guanico is the one I told you is is Guanico, Guanica, uh, uh, and um, La Paraguera. It almost goes all the way from La Paraguera to Ponce, and it goes off the coastline as well. And that's the one they took out. You see the earthquake on October two thousand nineteen. Mm -hmm. Gone. Wow. Yeah, and there's ongoing earthquakes taking out all the the the, the sister uh, dumps. This is how they work. So this is the constellation Orion, and I believe that's uh, Gemini. And it, if you overlay them, they the stars where those would fall are on dumps. Oh wow! Yeah, so the symbols will be in their downfall. We know where the dumps are. All we got to do is put star charts <laughs> down of the constellations. I mean, and there's how they were going to divide the U.S. up. And so when I do the dumb decode with Rick on his show, I'm blessed to teach, and I'm telling a FEMA regional center, that's what that, that means. It's in those, like you have region one, that's the New England states. Region nine is Cal, the southern part of California and parts, you know, as you can see, parts of uh, Arizona. So, and like you're in region four, Kirsten, which is Florida and Georgia and some of that. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to be divided up into 10 regions. They're regional, and you have FEMA headquarters in each region, which would be the like the governor for your region for your FEMA camp you're in, oh, in wow. Region Four. Wow. Okay, so not hopefully that's not happening anymore. That's not happening. <laughs> if, if it was happening, you wouldn't. We wouldn't be having this conversation. No, no. The tanks are on the roll now. We would have already been gone if the, the tanks were for us. Oh my the tanks God. aren't for us, people. And the mm. trucks going around are tearing out the Huawei Apple 5G. Look at the GoFeFe Act. And look at um, the order, the House Resolution 4998. Go look at your laws. Read the legislation. It pulls all that stuff out, makes it safe. Yes, the people that are running like chickens with, with their head cut off, they go to weird sites like what Richie from Boston and stuff like that that have a lot of big numbers really. And there's some guy named Dark Shadow or Dark something. I don't know. 
if you Dark come somebody, and, brother. <laughs> if you come and spew that garbage, you better be careful when you comment now. If you spew garbage, I'm just gonna block you because I don't have the energy. Rick no. doesn't have the energy either because he's now if you go to Rick's it. site and you you go into that or you attack Rick or you attack the Lord. Uh, of all creation or blasphemy him yeah or blasphemy me or rick or you use profanity yeah i don't hide your comment i hide you permanently right you can't find the site anymore you're gone and i've done that to a couple i mean you yep. can make any comment you want but don't attack certain people and don't attack god for sure i don't i don't do that front stage i don't attack people front stage we need to be united not divided right fema <laughs> camps by regions that was how was that map we saw both yeah are we done are we done? Yeah. That's it. That's that one. I sent you the uh, the big decode if you want. You should already have that. I sent that to you too that I did on Rick's show, the five part series. We can fly through it if you oh want to fly. Oh my God. Uh, did you send that to me recently or did you? Yeah, while well, we've been talking. Okay, so maybe I need to renew. Sometimes it takes a while. I just got the DC map. That was fantastic, by the way. Have you done that one with Rick yet or no? That uh, hasn't been done on Rick's show. You got the exclusive. Oh, I love it. So is this going to be, instead of our Thursday thing, is this is already done for Thursday, I guess. Yeah, we're done this week. You got the exclusive. You got a Tuesday ex early exclusive. <laughs> I got Late, a twofer. Breaking, early, I got a twofer. Breaking news report. <laughs> I got a twofer. That's good. Yep. I'm still waiting for your other one. Maybe the. I have the, to give Kirsten the exclusive because Kirsten got the ball rolling for my computers. Oh my! Now, now he's, he has multiple computers, not just one. But you're yeah. not doing it from your new one yet, right? You're not doing it from the new one yet. Not you? yet. I'm doing it from my wife's room. Right and then now. the next. Got so many. I, I, on during that decode the. It was amazing. God was with me because it crashed twice during the decode. Oh, and it yeah. takes me four or five minutes and it crashed when Rick was doing his uh, sponsor on the first time. And then at the end of the show, when before we go backstage while it was getting ready and it does that closing, he's got that smooth, slick stuff his editor did for him. Right. It crashed then. And by the time, just as they were coming on backstage, he goes, are you there, Gene? Hello, Jane, you're there? And I go, yeah, I'm, I'm up now. It took me four or five minutes to bring the computer back online because it crashed because I've got malware in my computer and it makes it crash. If I hit the right, every once in a while, when I hit the left click button on the mouse, it crashes the whole computer. That's why I want my own thing. I'm not going to put any stuff in there but my files. <laughs> so the new one, the new one you haven't used yet. You're just setting that up right now. Yeah, setting up the laptop, and then uh, Thursday I should get the big, huge unit with a 27-inch screen, and then the, the guy shipped the mic already. I'm going to have my own studio. So your voice and everything should be super clear the next time. That will be awesome. Awesome. Thank you. So many people oh, all thank over you. everywhere. And so many people on Rick's um, thing. He got Yeah, God bless in. everybody. Thank you, everybody, even the world that sent so much Eight. money in is my goodness. How much was it? Eight eighty how much how many hundred from Rick? Eighty seven hundred dollars. Eighty seven hundred dollars. And I'm wow. spending it. I'm gonna give uh, my editor, my compiler, and I may uh, uh, not my editor, my compiler who's uh, high repertory photography, my um, research assistant who's TCB, and then uh, I think I have an editor, his, he's got a, a different name, we, I don't know what it is yet, he's standing behind me making noise right now, you can hear, he, he said I can call him his Jimmy, so we'll um, call you, him Jimmy. Can you ask him why I haven't gotten that last file compilation that you just sent me with uh, i don't know you sh i sent it to you you should have it let me go look hold on is it sad to the right you know i'm refreshing and refreshing. um he wants to say something to you kirsten okay sure i love your show kristen been a fan for a long time girlfriend oh thank you so much thanks for helping rick i really i'm not rick and gene gene i'm like yeah, thanks for helping gene I'm I so, made the same mistake yesterday. Oh gosh! So did uh, am I getting this file or is it? I just sent it to you. Um, do I have to refresh it? I'm the least techie person ever, so I mean, it took a while for the last one. Should I close up? No, I can't close out the whole website. I just refresh, right? <laughs> no, nothing's happening. I don't know what to tell you. I'll do it. 
shall we leave it here? Because <laughs> I've refreshed the screen like five times already. I just sent it to her. What else do I do? I Jimmy's an expert on this stuff. So he's How do you gonna... make the thing arrive faster? Maybe because it's a huge file. Maybe it's taken longer. Yeah, it's a big file, Chris. Yeah. It's huge. Oh, um, maybe too big for Yahoo, actually. It could be too big for Yahoo, he said. Maybe you could send okay. like a part of it that's that's um it's impor here. important. It's, yeah. Yeah, we can do that. I, I need a tech guard. I need a tech guy. <laughs> I need a techie. Okay, so you're resending it? Yeah. My Gmail open over here. Where's the original file? On my Yahoo. You just saw it. So I got okay. It's a, oh, it's a Google Doc. Okay, for you folks out there, please give it a thumbs up because you never do on the other videos. And so now I need you to do it on these because if you want this channel to keep going, I need a thumbs up. That's all I need. And to share, share, share. That would be great. I really do appreciate it. So I my like new it. editor is getting it ready here. Okay, great. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, no warning. No with problem. no warning, he said. <laughs> That's how I work, no warning. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, really, to do all this stuff, you need a tech person. I mean, I'm. I got a tech guy now. His name's Jimmy. He's Thank my, God. Tech, my tech support. He got my new laptop up and getting it finished, and he fixed this computer to where it doesn't crash during the show. He took the, my, with my wife's help, he got the malware out. And then, oh, I got it. I got it. Okay, here Good. we go. Right. Dumb yeah, he got it to you. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you for watching. appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. Christmas. Yeah, nice meeting you. You too. Keep it up, girlfriend. Oh, well, I'll try. I'll try to keep up with Gene. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's hard, isn't it? Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> it's, um, it's a world of information. Okay, dumb military in, uh, decode for underground war. Shall we go through this quickly? Sure, page three, um, get it list quick, of, oh, it's long. List on ongoing dumbs in the USA, underground bases listed by state, California. Okay, you wanna talk, Bodie, number one, Bodie? Yeah, Bodie, that was taken out by a 5.2 magnitude earthquake, you can see it there. Okay, number two. China Lake, that was taken out, 35,367 kids on a spark grid, they rescued. Yeah, it's a lot, people. <laughs> They've been taking 800,000 a year since the 40s. Oh, God. Stop saying it can't be possible. Do your Mission. research. They Mission. disappear from every national park in the country every year. Go watch. There's websites covering it. Mission capable. Who? Lights. David Pilates has a website showing it. Okay. They, Missing 911. Missing 911, it's called. There's a picture of China Lake from above. I think we do. See, my Jimmy, my, my Jimmy uh, tech support guy knows a lot. <laughs> He's okay, let him, let him lot. talk too, then that's fine. Extra. Yeah, fine. he can little, talk too. Little Lake, go ahead. Little Lake, it's latitude, longitude there. And uh, so that's just kind of update on stuff in California. We got Idaho. This is kind of small. This is just updates on the on what was taken out. So there's the locations of the ones that's the Cascades area, as well as the one under Twin Falls, all that was taken out. That Bodie one, like it was a week, 10 days ago, that was right on the border of the National Park. So if you look at David Pilates, he's been talking, he's written four or five books. He's been talking for four or five years about all these people that go missing mysteriously, uh, especially children in the National Parks, hundreds of them. Yeah, for people from Colorado, if you go up the um, Roaring Fork, uh, or not Roaring Fork, excuse me, the Thompson River uh, up um, through the canyon there. There was a park up there where a child went missing and they did a search and they just found the shoe like you see what they always do, like Tom Hanks would leave a shoe. And these kids will go missing, like maybe they'll get out of like maybe 50, 100 feet in front of somebody, turn a corner, and their parents will follow them and they'll just be missing, just in thin air. Mm. So it's, it's, it's quick, they're fast, because they have dumbs and tunnels that come up and they just disappear really quick. I think we did this though, actually, Tennessee. I remember this because it's spelling- yeah, Tennessee, Tennessee. Yeah. Tennessee. 
this was the one that wasn't through my new uh, editor, Jimmy. He will clean this up. <laughs> this is just my compiler and my research assistant. Okay, to and the my editor. To the uh, puritanical conservatives, just because the spelling is off, don't give me a hard time and tell and say that Gene's decodes are fake because Tennessee spelled incorrectly because you guys are. Now, really Jimmy hasn't gotten to this one. I did this one before I had Jimmy. Then, no, I'm telling them. This is just, and I smoothed this when I did it in Rick's show. If you go look at my last decode on Rick's show, I spent eight hours correcting all this. So I it's all nice and beautiful and smooth on Rick's show. I have to say something to the puritanicals, which I really <laughs> go the opposite of you guys. I believe that we don't live in a perfect world. So really, if something is imperfect and you can't handle it, then that's really not a problem. And um, by the way, people, that shows I'm human. Yeah, I'm not Jesus correct. Christ. I'm not Jesus Christ or God. Okay, I'm human. I make my people, and so does my editors, uh, or my my compiler. They're human, and they got attacked. TCB, my my research assistant, got attacked by satanics, and his dog was freaked out and hiding under a sheet. We had a prayer session. She could smell the sulfur in the house. <sighs> I mean, these people, they want everything perfect, and then they're always correcting me if I say something wrong, which yeah. I probably will say something wrong because I'm not perfect, yeah. but, so, you know. You know, he, he was up 24 hours. That's why it says Tennessee. When he wrote that, he was up 24 hours straight. He's not I, like me. He can do 60 hours up. He's like, how long have you been away, Gene? I go, just 60 hours? Because you've had any sleep, I go. Yeah, I slept two minutes during Rick's show. I fell asleep for two minutes. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> how do you do that? <laughs> but you're you're rested now, right? You're you're yeah. caught up. You caught up. Yeah, I went to sleep last night at like, like ten o'clock, and I didn't get up till four a.m. So I had like six hours sleep. No more of that stupid Patriots. <laughs> no, no more. I can't do all night. It's just, I can't do it. It, it took me three weeks to get out of this, being up all night. I mean, when finally I'm sleeping at night again. I got six hours straight. I think we've done this one. Te Texas? Have we yeah, done we did this whole thing, Kirsten. This so, is the one that was galley wumpus. Okay. All right. So um, we're, ba ba we're basically caught up with Rick, right? Basically. Yeah, we're caught up with Rick. So Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, his show and is. We got all the news and we got all the, the scoops. That's not. He's playing you in the background. Oh, Good no. morning, Patriots. I thank you so much, Sister Spencer. Really? And um, I thank you so much for um, correcting me 25 times that. Nikola Tesla was bo was bo was Serbian, not German. It, oh yeah, uh, that I got that twenty five times. That's how uptight they are. They have to be exact. So yeah, really, Nikola, Nikolai Tesla. Nikolai uh, Tesla. Jimmy actually did a report on it when he was in second grade. He did a report on him. That's how long Jimmy's been red billed like forty years. <laughs> I mean, it's like I got that twenty five times. And then I, and then by the, by the time I came to the twentieth correction, and then people are, are you know, there, there are certain ones that are telling me, oh, we're just trying to help you. You need help. I go, did I ask you for any help? Number one, no, I didn't. Number two, that's not a big deal to me if he was born in Germany or if he was born in. I mean, it's like, oh. Uh, if I said he was a Nazi, then that'd be a big, big mistake. But. What I'm trying, the point I'm trying to make is it's all priorities. If I'm busy fighting for you in the trenches, in the sewer, why are you making sure my T's are crossed and my eyes are dotted 25 times when that's not important and it's burning me out? Do you guys just want to burn me out or you just, I don't know. I just, I, I don't understand because my brain doesn't work that way. I'm like Donald Trump. I take a swing and a punch from different directions and I can move, okay? That's all I have to say. It's that's all yeah, I have to say. Um, I don't just move. When I punch, it's when I block, it's actually my counter is actually my punch. Yeah, so, so you know, pure I, mean, I had a guy that I, he passed me at 90 miles an hour. I was taking my girls to the dog park and um I got to the light next to him and he's staring at me all nasty. <laughs> I was just laughing. I'm like, sure, you want to dance? <laughs> I haven't had a good workout in a month due to the lockdown let's get out and dance let's play my dragon wants to get out of the box and dance let's go <laughs> it's so crazy i mean the 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 thing
filming that I did on the Rachel Chandler child prostitute turned child handler. They attack, the, these women attack me so bad. You're a callous bitch. You call them ugly. I go, yeah, the prerequisite. Common sense is completely lacking because you have to be politically correct. You can't say someone's ugly. I said, the prerequisite of being a model is that you're attractive, not looking like a drug addict. So something's wrong with this narrative. So they're, they, they don't really know my style. My style is like, you know, kind of like your style. I just don't really have um, too uptight about, you know, exact, exact, exact. And I know life is not that way and I just let it go. That's all I have to say. Maybe you guys can be a little bit understanding of the way I work and the way Jean works. Jean's much more exact than I am, but I, I really don't care. <laughs> I really couldn't care less. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy said, just keep red pilling. Don't worry about the masses that are oh my God. that have to cross their T's and dot their I's. I mean, people keep correcting me when I go to California to watch you or whatever it is. They keep correct sending me email. It's pronounced this way. Yeah, I can't ever say that. And I'll never remember how. So don't even bother anymore. You they know what me like every single time and every single time. I can't remember it you're wasting your time yeah they know what's gonna happen <laughs> they know what you mean but they just want to correct you because they're really uptight they need well to it's pride kirsten you people that are doing that think about if that's pride it's arrogance and the arrogance and the pride are washing out your common sense and the reason why donald trump does really well and the rest of us that do well is because we have a high common sense quotient and you guys don't because the arrogance is washed it out the common sense quotient is gone gone sorry about the lecture but so many <laughs> so many personal attacks it's like overwhelming by the time i read all the comments i'm in a really bad mood that's all I have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Somebody told me on Rick's the last, the deco before the last one, I got tons of attacks. I'm like, I don't even have time to read that anymore. I don't care. <laughs> it's like, you're going to attack, attack away. I had a guy from Germany emailed me. He's like, I don't know who you are. And I'm like, you know, could you tell me about yourself? Okay. I did, you know, 20 plus years in the military. I've studied advanced martial arts for 30 plus years. And, you know, it goes, I need, you know, how do I know your sources? I go, okay. So I have sources. He goes, how do I know? I go, you don't. <laughs> do your research. He goes, well, you have, I'll give you a few days. If your information was worth anything, the military already would have took you out. They already know who you are and where you are. So I'm going to give you a few days to give me your credentials. And I'm like, yeah, right. So if, the, if you're part of that and you already knew where I am, why do you care what my credentials are? This is an obvious lie because you just contradicted yourself. I was like, come on, you people are, you people are stupid. And I'm, I'm always protective of genes. So when you guys are saying, oh, there's no pictures of the children. I gave you two little pictures from Gene of the children. You want full running video. Get yourself out of the mindset. It is illegal to show video or pictures of People, adults, or children that have been sexually abused. That's called the HIPPA Act. So when you ask me for rolling footage or more proof, that's what you're going to come up, come up against. So really, I'm not taking any more crap. Well, you know, that's people should be paying attention to what went on and what has been going on. So one of uh, uh, TCB sent me, go and search this people on Google search uh, hashtag Google TV television film and click the images of all the little kids that are very inappropriate on there oh, yeah. right? for that stuff or on DuckDuckGo, go click, click hashtag perverts or hashtag QAnon, hashtag okay. where we go one, we go all hashtag storm is upon us, hashtag in capital letters, all save the children and look at the stuff of the little kids and the little, you know, inappropriate attire and all kinds of this terrible stuff, little girls and little boys doing all kinds of stuff that they supposedly modeling in ways and stuff they shouldn't be. Stop worrying about what the little tiny mistakes we make. They're like, we're fighting we're, evil. We're, we're, it's all that matters. Who cares what the little mistakes we make? They're so used to the manipulated news from the mainstream media. 
we need proof. We need footage. We need more pictures. That's do your do your so go on and do your research. Go hashtag little boys and little girls or go hashtag Nambla. Research, research. The 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 filters are off. You can do the search. They're so lazy, they want you to give them the link. It's like big baby food for them, and they don't want to do any. Well, that's why we do the shows. You got the information here. Now take it. <laughs> it doesn't matter who I am. I'm not relevant. It's the message, not the messenger. Do your Correct. research. Thank you so much. To Thank you. You and, and God bless Jeff, you. God Jeff. bless all the amazing listeners that contributed to my computers and my new studio is going to be up and running. It's going to be fantastic. I coordinate ops all over the world now with people giving me information and we're going to share the news all over the world. And Where thank we you go to one, Jeff. We go is that Jeff? Jeff, your tech guy, right? Jimmy. 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 Jimmy's. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you so much. I'm really bad at news. <laughs> okay, thank, you. thank you. Take care. I'll talk Take to you guys care. soon. Bye. Good afternoon. Goodbye. Good Goodbye. morning. Good evening. Thank depending you. on where you're listening. Salama datang. That means in Indonesian, that means coming soon. Salama How do you datang. say it? Salama datang. Really? It's Salama. almost like Tagalog for thank you. Salama. It is. Tagalog. Oh, and Salama. No, 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 no. Listen to this. I'm part um, Malay. Malay, Indonesian, and Filipina are pretty much the same. They're the same yeah. roots. So Singaporean Chinese, we probably have some British in us and some Malay, which is like Filipino or Indonesian. It's, and the language is about the same. Salama, which is a greeting, datang, coming soon. So that's it. Okay. Yeah, my All wife's right. Filipino. So I speak Tagalog, a station of Philippines. So, walang <laughs> anaman. Okay. Salama <laughs> datang. Oh, that's okay. very good. Thank you. Paalam na. Okay. Walang gabi sa Thanks for the exclusive. Thank you. You're welcome, Kirsten. Okay, bye. Bye. God bless. God bless.